Hello everyone, this is Shelly once again with a new pattern today. Today I have the Gibson, which is a 1910s blouse and walking skirt. The pattern is two separates. The blouse has a front vest with optional collar or tie front collar, and the skirt is ankle length with six separate pleats at the front and six in the back. This style pattern is perfect for period reenactment, steampunk, or whatever else you can imagine. This pattern is being shown on two dress forms. We have Sausage, who is a 44 bust, and Portia, who is a 52 bust. As always, my patterns range from a 40 bust to a 60 bust. Ideal fabrics are linen, cotton, or silks for the blouse, linens, wovens, or any mid to heavy drape fabric for the skirt. This pattern is considered an intermediate to advanced pattern. A dress form is strongly recommended as the skirt is fitted and requires progressive alteration to make its pleats lay correctly. The blouse of the Gibson is free form with rounded shoulders, gathered sleeves, and a tapered cuff. The pointed collar is joined just overlapping the vest of the blouse where the rounded tie collar is joined near the top of the neckline. The vest or the center panel of the blouse should sit at the apex of the bust where the seam lines meet up for the rest of the blouse. This ensures a proper fit and aesthetic. The skirt of the Gibson has two options a raised waist or a belted waist. The front of the skirt has a closure on the left side pleat. This can be finished with snap fasteners or a zipper. A backing panel is needed. Ideal placements for the pleats is the same as the blouse with the center front pleat of each side being in line with the apex of your bust. I am really excited about this pattern as it is one of my most complicated yet. I am personally going to make this for this Halloween as I'm planning to go as a Gibson girl. Make sure to follow my blog, New Vintage Lady, for progress on seeing that made up. Thank you for watching the video and I hope this helps in your decision to purchase the Gibson. You can buy the pattern in my Etsy store, which is under the name New Vintage Lady. And all of my other links and social media are in the description below. Thank you.